know that's your limitation. You've done everything to your limit. What if there's just one step closer? And that one step is what you don't know nothing about. And do you know in our lives, a lot of times, there's where we get. When you get to your wit's end and there's no way out. There's just one more step that you haven't taken. And that one step is what you don't know nothing about. If you knew, maybe you would have done it. Sometimes that's one step that you think will not work. You've heard of it. You've thought about it. But the only thing you thought about when you thought about it was that it will not work. Have you ever found yourself in that situation? You've tried everything else about something you've been trying to do and then a thought came to you to do it this other way. And you thought, oh no, that didn't work. If this didn't work and that didn't work and that didn't work and the other one didn't work, how, how? this wouldn't even work. Then you just, mm, mm, no way. Then somehow you have almost given up and then you just say, well, it wouldn't hurt just to try that last one. At least to satisfy myself that I didn't leave nothing out. And then you just push that button and it worked. And you say, my goodness, I thought about that all the time. Why didn't I do it? Has that ever happened to you? Do you know in things about life, that happens all the time. Happens all the time. So, that's why we want to study to find out if there's something I could do to effect the change. There are scriptures that are suggestive that um, there could possibly be a miracle for you. There may just be a way out. And I want us to look at those scriptures briefly. They are familiar scriptures, scriptures you've read all your life. But they, they just seem to suggest there could be a way out. I don't know what you want to make of this, but I hope that you listen to them and, and read them yourself, study them yourself and make up your own mind. Maybe a miracle is on the way for you. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe when we're through studying this, we'll be more sure whether or not there's a miracle on the way. Is it possible? Is it at all possible? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Let's begin. Alright? Are you ready? It just might be. Maybe it's you this time around. Maybe it's you. <laughs> A miracle may be knocking at your door. Chapter 18 in the book of Genesis. <clears throat> and I want to read from verse 9. There's a woman by the name of Sarah. And uh, at old age, she didn't have a child. She was married to a man who was now old also. And uh, the Bible says it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. She had now come to menopause. Is there anything like that? All right. And... Uh, the doctor said, Bye-bye. You are gone. You cannot have a child anymore. It's too late. And they gave up. One day, the old husband was Sitting outside of the tent door and three men approached him. They were actually passing by and he ran to them and said, Hey, 
I know you're on a long journey. Why don't you come in here and then eat and drink for a while and rest just there for a while and then you can go on. I just give you something and then you can continue your journey. And they said, all right. But he was talking to two angels and the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so they turned in and sat with him and he brought them food and drink. And watch what happened here. Verse 9. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will. The Lord said something. Verse 10. The Lord said this. And he said, I will suddenly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door. Sarah was there uh, behind him. Behind the door. She was listening as these men were talking. And she heard the man say, I will return according to the time of life. In nine months, in other words. And Sarah shall have a son in nine months time. She's going to have a son. Sarah heard it. She knew her age. She knew the husband's age. Verse 11. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and were stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself. She laughed within herself. She didn't quite laugh out, but she laughed within herself, saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, oh, Why is your wife laughing? I love God. He is not like some people think he is. If that was to be a man, he says, Sarah! <laughs> you think I can't hear you? <laughs> Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> but the Lord is wonderful. He doesn't even talk to her. He knows she's behind the door. He knows she's laughing. And then he says, Abraham, why is your wife laughing? And Abraham doesn't know the wife is laughing. Why is your wife laughing? And she freezes right behind the door. <laughs> Look at this. I want to read verse 13 one more time. This is beautiful. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a sooty bear a child which I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. He said it again. He said, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard? Is there anything too hard? Is there anything too hard? I said, you may just be now in the presence of a miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there such a thing? It's too hard for the Lord. The woman laughed. And then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, look at the Lord, and said, in my presence, even while I'm here, you're lying. He didn't even quote scripture, thou shalt not lie. Watch what it says. And he said, nay, but thou didst laugh. He says, no, but you laughed. And doesn't keep pressing and say, no, 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 no. I can't leave here till you tell the truth. <laughs> I, I want you to, uh, I want you to uh, understand the kind of God we serve. He's not like some people try to make him look. He's not as mean as they try to make him look. God is wonderful. 
You know, sometimes we talk like this and people say, are you trying to give people an excuse for sinning? Are you trying to water down the... They say, well, water... Don't you mean water? Somebody said, they say, God is love, 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 love. He said, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. <laughs> they are all looking at you. <laughs> we all fell into the hands of the living God. And he didn't burn us. You know what he did? He saved us. <laughs> Hallelujah. says, for all have seen and come short of the glory of God. What did he do with it? Destroy them? No. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The people who preach judgment, they don't know the worth of a human soul. They don't know. If they knew, every day they would cry on their knees for those they felt have gone off the way. If you feel so bad that people are doing the wrong thing, you can only show that you know God by praying for them. If you condemn them, you don't know Jesus. You don't know Him. Hallelujah. Look here. Sarah denied because she was afraid. But the Lord said, no. But you laughed. Watch. And the men rose up. They're about to leave. The Lord didn't say, now on the day of judgment you will remember these words. He didn't. Isn't it just, just like Jesus? Peter denied Jesus. And after the resurrection, Jesus sees Peter and he doesn't even remind him of what he did. He doesn't say, Simon, I'm back. I told you I'll come back. He knew that. He said, Simon, do you love me? Simon said, yes, Lord, I do. He said, ah, <laughs> not again, once beaten twice shy, Simon. <laughs> did he say that? No. What did he say? He said, feed my ship. He gave him the responsibility. He said, feed my ship. He doesn't even remind him. Read the Bible. The Lord didn't even say, Simon, I know what you did, but I've forgiven you anyway. He didn't even talk about it. Why? He says, love does not take record of wrongs. Some people have a diary. A woman can take a, a, a book like this, a diary, and say, in 1956, 